qualification of a good father. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 and 7. These words which I command you today shall be to your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your sons and shall talk to them. You sit in the house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up again. Deuteronomy 6, chapter verse 6 and 7. These words which I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them, your children, diligently every day to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in the house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. So, the first one is how faithful to the household. Being a father, I'm going faithful to the household. Number two, he will fund all the bills when the children are under age. When they get 21 years old, not in school, it's time to get their own place. They're no living on the couches or on the floor free. Three, he's a father, not just the title, but the nature of of inspiration and teaching. Go to God four. He the future vision for the children to see, taking care of the mother and the wife. Five. He is the first to be example of prayer and the teaching of God's standard in the house. Six. He teaches children don't live free but to handle some of the bills being home because your parents are getting older. Stop lying about problems, but you purchase iPad, iPhone every time they come out but can't pay a dime in the house. Seven, he's a faithful institution. He took, he looked to God for direction and instruction so the children can see his role. Glory to God. Seven, he's a faithful, he is faithful institution. He took, look to God for direction and instruction so the children can see his role. Eight, he is the food provider. Glory to God. Both spiritual and, and, and physical showing his children that God is our spiritual food from heaven. Nine, he teaches forgiveness between God and mankind. Ten, he's a good father teaching his children life is not about fun, going to club or banquet because it leads to sexual perversion and promiscuity. So this is the ten rule of of the qualification of a good father. And let me stop right there. A good father, glory to God, correct his children. David was a good king, but David was not a good father. Glory to God, because a father will correct his child. When David, glory to God, looked down the river, when David knew that Amna raped Tamar, he didn't, glory to God, uh, uh, correct, hallelujah, Tamar, he didn't correct Amna about the situation that how he raped his sister, glory to God, Eli wasn't a good father because these two sons, glory to God, was having sex with the woman in the temple and then he never correct his son. So Eli was not a good father. So Proverbs direct the fathers how to be a father. He say, if you love your children, don't spare the rod. Train up a child in the way it shall go. When he get old, it shall not depart from it. So your job as being a father is teaching and training and 
instructing. That's the role of a good father. So if you are a good father, you'll tell it like it is. You should not hold back. Go to God correction verbally as well as physically because he said, if you spare the rod, you're going to spoil the child. And that's the one of the reason why we have spoiled brats, spoiled children in our society. Because the court comes in the way. The court says you can beat your children. My friend, I come to tell you, beating help, gear, instruct our children. But if you keep on talking, 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 go to God and keep on walking, walking, and being disbehaved. But if you spare, go to God the rod, you spoil your child. And that's why there are many spoiled children in our society. It's time. Glory to God. You beat them, but you're not going to kill them. I understand people abuse their children, but it's a time. You got to glory to God. Don't spear the rod because the rod is correction. Glory to God. So on my next video is I'm going to talk about rotten children. Why are they rotten children? So if you, this is a qualification of being a good father. So if you want to be a good father, just have a child. You want to be a good father. A good father is not just a, a sperm donor. A good father is a one not to have children all over every state. But a good father will take care of of his children. A good father is not forced, glory to God, by the state to take, to pay child support. But a good father know his responsibility. He's not a dead beat. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's not being chased by the court to pay his portion of money to take care of his children. So a good father is not a sperm Donor. A good father is not a one that so is oak all over the world and say I have all these children. But a good father take care of his children. 